guys, this is a uh, Pro Gamer Guy Six, and this is me doing another video. Now I'm doing this video on just a review of um, Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. I think it just oh sorry, it's a bit quinty. I think it's just going to be such a good game um, for Xbox and Xbox 360. I like how they've made it a bit like Titanfall. As you can see in the background, I, sh I think I'll just leave it with you, and I'll talk about some stuff in it. Hopefully, you can see it quite well. And I'll just leave it to you then to watch. America's been trying to install democracy as a nation for a century, and it hasn't worked one time. I'll turn up the volume a bit just so you can hear it. These countries don't have the most basic building blocks to support a democracy. And the campaign does look quite good as well. Little things like we ought to be tolerant of those who disagree with us. A different god than us. That a journalist ought to be able to disagree with the president. And you think that you can just march into these countries based on some fundamentalist religious principles, drop a few bombs, topple a dictator, and start a democracy? And the graphics look quite well, uh, quite good as well. So it's basically this year it's going to be between Battlefield. I think uh, I forgot what the new one's called. And obviously, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, so. Give me a break. People don't want freedom. They want boundaries, rules. So, I'm definitely going to be getting this, and hopefully, you guys will be getting it because it just looks so good. I mean, look at all this stuff here. I think I know why it's called Advanced Warfare because it's literally everything about it is advanced. <laughs> and they'll follow. And that's where I come in. Don't know how long this is going to be on for. Maybe 15 minutes or so. I might need to put it into two parts. I don't know yet. I'll wait and see. But this is a multiplayer review, just if you were wondering, guys. I could not do a campaign one because I never saw one. I did see it, but um, I couldn't record that. I'm sorry, guys. It does show you a bit of what's in the campaign, though. So, yeah. I wish I got to go to um, to um, Gamescom this year, but I couldn't. I don't know if I'm going next year, but we'll wait and see. So hopefully you're enjoying this video. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It's a big favour that you're doing for me and um, I really appreciate it. And like this video. So. I this bit's more campaign. I don't know. The maps look very well, very good as well. There's a lot of games I was watching games on. A lot of good games that are coming out, and I like most of them. So. And I like the way you can jump. It's a bit like Titanfall, but I like it as well. The, the, the spinal stuff, and you can jump higher. And this, ah, this is campaign. Yeah. There's a bit of campaign as well. And the guns are quite good as well. I think they're a bit better than ghosts. That's just my point of view. I don't know what yours is. I'm oh, sorry, guys. Does it really good? Oh wow! I never knew that. Fly.
Whoa. Oh yeah, that's quite good. You can take the door handles off and use it as a riot shield. It's quite cool when you do that in the campaign. As you can see there. I think I'm just gonna keep it till about 11, 10 minutes. So another five minutes or so. Yeah, I'll really like that thing. It was really good in the video. The guy was coming about a knife him and he flew over and came back and then shoot him. Sledgehammer Games has had a pretty strong pedigree with storytelling, the original Dead Space, Modern Warfare 3, and now Advanced Warfare. We tapped a lot of experts when we were developing the story. Our military advisors, Delta Force operators, Navy SEALs, these guys are the real deal, and they bring a level of authenticity to the story. We ended up working with a lot of different futurists, guys that literally their job is to think about the world in 40 years, what it's going to be like, everything from the weapons to the production design to the uniforms, cool. everything had to go through this filter of it's 40 years in the future, but it has to be real. Yeah, I thought it was in the future. I never knew how far it was in the future, but I knew it was in the future. So 40 years? And we've done Dinner. new storytelling techniques to get that across. Our cinematics all feature a fully rendered character animations now. The character in game looks just like the actor in real life. We use his voice, we use his full body performance, and you just get a very realistic, lifelike, filmic performance out of these amazing actors that we have. And that's where I come in. One of the big differences in our story this time is we focus on a single protagonist. That's made it more compelling because everything that's happening is happening to me. You're going to see moments and situations that I haven't seen in a movie, let alone in a video game before. The audience is going to experience this epic story that we've been working on for three years. It's like handing out a gift. You get to unwrap it and enjoy it. So uh, guys, I am going to do two parts to this, just if you're wondering. Part one and part two. Uh, yeah, just if you're wondering. Oh, cool, cool. I might be getting the Xbox One for my birthday or Christmas. Most of my friends are getting Xbox Ones, but I don't know when I'm getting one. I just know I probably am getting one. Just if you're wondering. We also have this thing called the mobile barricade. It's this big glass shield. You sink to it, and it knows where you're moving. It automatically window shuts down, quickly you shoot, and it goes back up. The directed energy weapons Whoa. are a pretty cool new class that we've added to the game. Okay. It's so powerful, so much fun. On top of that, we have technology like the hover box and the hover tanks, things that can go all over terrain, not only hovering on water, but hovering on land. The future tech in the game is actually based on technology that we see today, and we've taken it further. That's one of the things about Call of Duty. It's got to be relatable, got to be believable. But we are taking it to an extent that makes it also fun and new. It's going to change your experience in Call of Duty like never before. Advanced Warfare is the technology of tomorrow in the hands of the player today. The exoskeleton is a game changer. It's the thing that's really ushering in the new era of Call of Duty. Jump really high, you're gonna be able to run fast. We're adding cloaking abilities to it, and to be able to throw somebody further. You can grab a car door, pull it off the car, use it as a shield. Another exciting part about the exoskeleton is exo abilities. Overdrive is pretty cool because what it does, it makes you go faster, which looks like the world around you is going slower. The exoskeleton will change the game in a bunch of ways, but what we're trying to do is not to make it complicated. Many times, I mean, it's just one button. So if you're in the XL Boost, you know, just press the jump button and you'll jump. This toolbox that the XL brings to you as the player redefines how you're going to play Call of Duty. As I was saying, I'm going to be getting Xbox One um, sooner or later, and the quality uh, will be much better. So guys, I'm going to the end there, but I will do another part two, so goodbye, see you then.